All right, guys, it's time to do some of the first tests on this thing. I'll show off the case a little bit here. Strapped in neck, sits in a nice little cradle. This guitar is not going anywhere when it's in this case. It's just gonna be really snug. I'm a little worried, I'm a little worried about how snug it is around the headstock. Uh, we've got the Gibson neck brake angle here. I'm afraid that if it takes a direct hit on the back edge of the case, that that's just going to snap. Really snug all the way down around the body. Show off a feature of the case. Nice tough piece of nylon or something there for the strap button. It'll catch it. A lot of padding here. Really firm padding on this outer edge and a very rigid sidewall. Besides the headstock, I think this guitar is going to survive a lot of abuse in this case. Uh, a couple extra pads to hold down the sides of the guitar, I suppose. More of that sturdy nylon to go over where the, uh, the tuning hardware is. Let's check out the, uh, the storage area in this case. Good amount of storage area, nothing in there right now. A little tie to hold your cables, a place to put a full-size iPad, all sorts of little bags and containers. Not much extra padding on this top layer, but in between here, there's about an inch thick piece of very industrial feeling foam. Like it is super tough. Very well padded case. So let's zip it up and do some basic, like simple drop tests on this carpet inside in this room. Simple stuff. All right, I'm gonna start with a very simple drop test where I just let it fall onto the carpeted floor. See how it survives. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. try dropping it from waist level flat on its back. Still good. Let's do waist level on its side. Totally fine. Let's up the ante a little bit. We'll do head level. That's a pretty good thud when it landed. Keep checking the headstock first. It sounds like it's slowly going out of tune as I do this. <laughs> it doesn't look like the neck is twisting or warping or anything like that.
that'd be something I worry about is the the truss getting knocked out with just this the amount of force that this thing's going to go through as I continue to up the ante on the tests. So head level on the side here. That felt like a big banger. I would be really nervous if uh, there was a guitar that I cared about in here. The, uh, the bridge has shifted. Hopefully I get a shot of that. So that sideways drop shifted the bridge, which is, uh, you know, just held on there by the tension of the strings. It's a, a top just resting bridge in a Bigsby style. Is there another test I could do here? I hate to risk it, but what if I dropped it on its head? I don't want to do it from all the way up here, but let's do a waist height drop and just see what happens. This is making me really nervous. I don't want to end this test too soon. I want to do a bunch of videos. I didn't hear strings rattle or pop or anything. It's still there. It's definitely out of tune now, but I don't know if that's because the bridge shifted. Well, it survived this first round of testing. No cracks on the back of the headstock, which is the thing I was most worried about. Uh, the force of it landing on its side shifted the bridge to the side, which is honestly really easy to fix. Like I just move it around with my fingers. Uh, but it showed that there is force inside this bag. It's not a slow slowdown or a slow deacceleration when this thing drops, but it protected it from cracks breaks. There's no cracks along the uh, the neck joint there. There's no dings or breaks or anything. This is a pretty uh, pretty simple test to start with dropping it on carpet. Uh, I'm just going to keep upping the ante with each video until it is uh, retired. Basically I'm trying to get it to the point where it is no longer playable. In my mind it's going to end with a, uh, a headstock break, but we'll see. We'll see where it ends up. Oh, you know what? Shoot. There's a little bit of a crack there. Will it focus on it? I got a, I got a crack in the headstock on the other side too. That was from that headstock drop for sure. Well, we'll have to keep our eyes on that. <laughs> this thing might not survive much more. <laughs> Dang. Well, there's that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.